Hello guys and I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. So you guys, you know, we shared a video of um, one white guy, you know, exposing uh, Pastor Casper. And so everybody was like waiting for Pastor Casper to respond or to do something like, to, you know, maybe we're expecting him to come out live and explain himself. But guess what he did to break the silence? He just posted some photos of him and he was like, well, I had a, I had a haircut and all this kind. And some people were asking him, so when are you going to go live? We want to see you. And he was like, okay, I'm going to go live, you know, now that I have a haircut. And some people are asking him, like, where are you posting from? And all this kind of stuff. To which some of his some of his responses were, did I ever say I own a mansion? Did I ever say I own this? You should mind your own business. Something like that. But anyway, in the photos, you can see him with some bottles of beer. And people are asking him, hey, the white guy said you stole the, some beer from him. He did not respond to that. So, well, the brother is back. You know what you have to do whatever you have to do because remember social media is all we have so if you have to swallow your pride and you know just just be you we all uh, we all pass through some kind of things embarrassing situations and all this kind of stuff but life goes on so we just hope the brother is moving on and definitely we are waiting for that live stream to see what he's going to say what that is if he's going to do that anyway let's listen to the audio one more time one book um that then he uh went back to Zimbabwe uh, because he had a young son with his ex-wife and the, the baby died. So he went back to Zimbabwe to bury the child. And when he came back, the people in Weinberg had kicked him out. So uh, he was a famous pastor. He was you know, on social media. People knew him as Pastor Pastor Casper. <laughs> um, and he had his own church. I found it all out on social media. But then uh, a lawyer friend of mine told me he's a con artist. He's a major con artist and to get rid of him. So he was sending me messages begging me not to leave him. Um, yeah, so he, he was staying in my flat. Uh, we needed to get him out. The people went in yesterday to clean. My friend went in to the flat and my friend said it was so dirty and covered in cockroaches that uh, he sat down on the sofa and cried for a few minutes. And that Casper, uh, because I put Casper out, he's getting nasty with me and making threats. And uh, yeah, so he stole clothes. He stole about 9,000, uh, 90,000 90, rand worth of clothes gone and things damaged. Um, all the alcohol in the cupboard is gone. Um, yeah, but he, he's all over social media, um, Facebook. Yo. <laughs> so you must tell me what else you know about him. Oh, the things I'm finding out. Oh, uh, yeah. I actually um, had a trip to Durban. Uh, just as lockdown was starting, um, a work trip to Durban. So I went home to uh, Cape Town for one night. I realized Casper was up to no good. He, was, he, he had taken uh, an expensive watch and some things from the kitchen to Cash Crusaders. And I found out, so I had to pay to get my stuff back. And the next day I put him out. Um, but then uh, I flew back, to, was flying back to Durban. But Casper called me, begging me not to uh, put him out. He came to the airport, chasing me to the airport. Please, baby, please, baby, don't do this, baby. I love you, baby. <laughs> I'm begging me. So then he, he came with me to Durban. And um, I, like a fool, I, I believed him and let him back. And then I found out he was uh, doing stuff in my flat. He was uh, he was in he was in Cape Town uh, illegally. He was having people around the flat. He was making problems in the flat, uh, and basically just lie upon lie upon lie. But he's all over social media because his wife outed him as being outed him as being gay. She put nude pics of him on Facebook, um, and then he went back. And made videos threatening her, but the video.